Welcome to the 10th GigaMesh video tutorial. In this video, we will show you how to compute geodesic distances along the surface and how to display Voronoi cells, also known as Thiessen polygons. This is a 3D scan of a gypsum cast of a life-sized archaic Greek marble head, the so-called Saburov head, which comes most likely from Athens and dates back between 540 and 530 before Christ. Working with the 3D model allows us to visualize small asymmetries, which are a key factor for proper archaeological interpretation of this head. In order to check the symmetry of an object, we have to select points via the button Select Multiple Vertices by Pinpointing on its surface. Hold Control while clicking on the model to set these points. The points can be saved and reloaded later. To save them, use Select Vertices Selected Multiple Vertices by Value Type Index Vertices Selected Multiple Vertices Show Indices. The indices of the three selected points shown here are already copied to the clipboard and can be saved in any kind of text file. To deselect them, click Select Vertices Selected Multiple Vertices Deselect All. For this model, we have already prepared some points of interest. To load and select them, copy the numbers to the clipboard. Then go to Select, Vertices, Select Multiple Vertices by Value Type Index, Vertices, Select Multiple Vertices, Enter Indices. The number from the clipboard is automatically added here. Click OK to select the point on the model. The point is on the lowest edge of the man's hair presuming the orientation is correct. We use a visualization of the geodesic distance to this point for symmetry analysis. Go to Analyze Geodesic Distance to Selected Multiple Vertices. After the computation is done, we see a color ramp indicating the distance to the point measured along the surface. This is stored as function value. For single vertices, it can be displayed in the left sidebar. The same color means the same function value. For more information about a selected vertex, press I. It is possible to choose from several color ramps. To get a clearer view of the symmetries, we repeat the color ramp over and over every 10 millimeters. The frontal view clearly shows that the middle of the neck doesn't correspond well with the middle axis of the face. Another way to visualize this are isolines running along the same function value. The distance between them is set to 10 mm too. The next step is to load the rest of our prepared points in the same way as shown before. These points are set on the same features on both sides of the head, such as the corners of the mouth, for further analysis of its symmetry or asymmetry. The second point here is set exactly in the middle between the ears, as measured along the lower rim of the hair, but does not lie on the lowest point. This indicates that the head is slightly turned left. Again, we compute the geodesic distance from the selected points. The settings remain the same as before. The Voronoi cells corresponding to the points are saved as labels. Each cell gets a random color. The cells belong to the nearest selected point. Here we see one more aspect of the head. The face is perfectly symmetric, but the rest of the head does not fit well to the symmetry, 
as the gap between the mouth cells and the ear cells on the forehead shows. On the back of the head, the tip of the cell coming from the middle point, colored red, fits perfectly with the ear points. This shows the great precision of the stonemason. This is a strong hint that the head belongs to an equestrian statue, as other better preserved examples with a slightly turned head from the Greek archaic period show. It is not easy to determine the angle in which the head is turned, since we have no clear vertical axis. Gigamesh centers meshes around the center of mass. On the polar grid, we can determine the angle between the points and the axis. Settings, grid shift depth, help seeing the grid. Another option would be transparent rendering. Assuming we have the correct orientation of the head, it is turned to the left side by approximately 10 degrees. This video is based on a chapter within the commemorative studies for Jorgos Despines. Thank you for watching.